so in communication we have different frequencies so we have radio frequencies microwaves and then we have millimeter waves so there are certain ranges of frequency and then we'll see one by one the first one is the this mf hf they are the names but there are certain game name given to certain bands by ieee also the medium frequency is 300 kilohertz to 3 gig 3 megahertz that is 1 kilometer to 100 meter this is the wavelength wavelength you know this is quite high wavelength so this is medium frequency 100 uh, 1 kilometer to 100 meter this is what i am talking about from here to here and this uh, the the different work different functions the maritime radio uh, the navigation am radio aviation radio then 3 to 30 megahertz this is the high frequency that is from 100 meter to 10 meter uh, what is the work short wave radio then 30 to 300 megahertz so 1 meter to 10 meter it is very high frequency so 3 this 30 to 300 we have vhf vhf television fm radio then 300 megahertz to 3 gigahertz so this uh, goes from 1 meter to 10 cm so this is 1 meter to 10 cm this is ultra high frequency so uhf television mobile phone gps wifi 4g works here then this is the ieee bands now starting uh, from 1 to 2 gigahertz so 1 to 2 gigahertz is 30 cm to 15 cm that is it's a l band 1 to 2 gigahertz is your l band and what are the functions the l band the mobile surveys satellite navigation telecommunication news aircraft surveillance amateur radio digital audio video broadcasting digital multimedia broadcasting and apart from this the global positioning system carrier gps carriers they also use this frequency the satellite mobile phones you might have heard about iridium the inmarsat providing communication at uh, sea land and air so this is l band 1 to 2 gigahertz 30 cm to 15 cm wavelength world space satellite radio also 1 to 2 gigahertz then from 2 to 4 this comes s band so this is 15 cm to 5 cm so you can say this s band here i am talking so what are the uh, functions for 2 to 4 gigahertz s band weather radar surface ship radar there are certain communication satellites especially those of nasa offer communication with the iss and the space shuttle so 2 to 4 gigahertz s band then you have c band c band this is 4 to 8 gigahertz 1 to 2 2 to 4 now 4 to 8 so lsc c is primarily used for satellite communication for full time satellite tv networks or raw uh, the satellite feeds commonly used in area that are subjected to tropical rainfall because this is sus less susceptible to rain fail because in the ku band most of the frequency is absorbed by the rain so here you use c band then we have 8 to 12 x band 8 to 12 this is 3.75 cm to 2.5 cm see the wavelength is decreasing now there's decrease up to cm x band 8 to 12 gigahertz primarily used by military It is used in radar application, including the continuous wave, pulse, single polarization, dual polarization, synthetic aperture radar, and the phase array. So, X band radar frequency subbands they are used in civil. This band I am trying to talking about used in civil, military, government institution for weather monitoring, the air traffic control, maritime vessel traffic control, defense tracking, and vehicle speed detection for law enforcement. So, eight to twelve gigahertz X band. So radar, satellite communication, and wireless computer networks, X band, eight to twelve. So LSC X. Now comes the KU band. This is from twelve to eighteen gigahertz, two point five centimeter to one point six centimeter. 
So this K undermanned satellite communication, direct broad, broadcast satellite television, terrestrial microwave communication, and radar, especially police uh, traffic speed detectors. LSCX, then KU, then K. So it is 18 to 26, and Wiki it is 18 to 27. Due to the 22 gigahertz water vapor absorption line, this band has a high atmospheric attenuation. It is only used for short range application. Right? Then we have the KA band. KA, KU, K and KA. KU was K under, KA is K above. So this is 26 to 40 gigahertz, mainly used for radar and experiment, experimental communication. NASA Kepler spacecraft is the first NASA mission to use K band, NASA Deep Space Network, NASA DSN communication, 20 to 60 gigahertz K band. Then we have V and W. So these are the ranges because the this we have we are going to the millimeter wave now. So 40 to 75, this is V band, 75 to 111, it's a W band. And we have above 111 gigahertz, it's millimeter wave. So they are used for radio astronomy, remote sensing, automotive radars, military applications, imaging, security, in, uh, screening and telecommunication. So this is just a revision of what we have just seen. So 1 to 2, I am talking about IEEE, 1 to 2 is L band, 2 to 4 is S band, then we have 4 to 8, that is C band, then 8 to 12 is X band, and then 12 to 18 is your K U band, then we have 18 to 26, that is K band, then 26 to 40, it's your K A band, then V and W, and then above 111, it's millimeter wave.